I wasn't raised in the easiest situation. Throughout my childhood, both of my parents were unemployed. One, battling immigration issues. The other, battling four cancers five times. Luckily, I got support to attend the most incredible school, the United Nations International School. We had students and teachers from over 150 countries. We learned about global problems and solutions from a very young age. My education was my ticket to a better future. It was at the school as a teenager that I decided on my life's purpose, to make quality education accessible globally. I wanted to create an e-learning device that worked for any child in the world whose education was lacking, which is mainly those in high poverty communities. Data shows that the most effective thing we can do to solve our global problems is to educate girls. Educating girls is known as the third most effective climate drawdown solution because it increases rights-based family planning. And yet, only 39% of girls in low-income countries complete secondary school. Girls out of school means poverty is perpetuated with an increase in youth pregnancies, early and forced marriages, violence, and lost futures. We are in a global education crisis that no one outside of this room is talking about. And if we don't do something radical, we will end up with irreversible damage to our people and our Earth. According to the UN, if we don't educate today's currently out-of-school girls and girls who live deep in the poverty line, there will be nearly two and a half billion more people on this planet by 2050, and a far higher percentage of people in poverty. Because of wars and natural disasters, the situation is constantly worsening. This increases the number of children out of school. With refugee youth going an average of three to four years without school, and only 5% attending university. So now, imagine if these children fleeing their homeland and on the move for months or even years could carry with them a personal education device. On this device, they could start learning the new language and curriculum they will need in their host country. And they can play games which all provides some relief during the hardest times of their life. Then, COVID-19. 816 million children were out of school during the pandemic with no access to distance learning. The majority being girls. Some missed much longer. In fact, children in the Philippines just started returning to the classroom this week. So, 
This is our solution, the JARA unit. <laughs> it is a crank-powered, solar-powered education device that could teach any e-learning content in any language, anytime, anywhere. It is a distance learning and e-learning solution, a learning tool for students and teaching tool for teachers. It is waterproof, dustproof, breakproof, and heatproof. This research-backed tool has been created with the input of communities from post-disaster zones to refugee camps. Why not use smartphones, tablets, or laptops, you might say? Well, those solutions don't work for education for children in high poverty, off-grid, and low connectivity communities. Our solution works for them all. Our education materials are through partnerships with local e-learning platforms and are different for each country and each community. Our content is wirelessly updated without needing internet by full-time JARA ambassadors who are local community members whose jobs include making sure every child and teacher has up-to-date lessons in their own language. We ensure children can pass national exams, graduate, and access, access jobs or higher education. And we have also incorporated localized life skills, such as financial literacy and entrepreneurship. The aim? To empower children to solve problems in their communities, to create opportunities in their own country, to build out their local economies, and most importantly, to follow their dreams. This is a story that is close to ending well. We are launching this year in Nepal and Nigeria, and then we'll scale globally, responding to the 20 countries which have already reached out for the JARA unit. But I want to end by breaking a silence by drawing your attention to another gender-related issue. Only 2.5% of funding for entrepreneurs goes to women, and even less for women of color. I have spent the last six years stuck in poverty three years on food stamps, and one year without a home. And this story of hardship in the name of changing the world is not unique to me. We lose a vast number of brilliant solutions to our global issues because of this funding divide. When gender inequality impacts female changemakers, it robs us all of the chance to live in a world with many of our global problems solved. Let's make sure we are the generation that closes this gender gap. Be aware that women especially need you to support and publicize their endeavors. And if you are looking for a way to make the world a better place, please reach out and volunteer for us at JARA. 
you may be helping to educate the world's future changemakers. And by the time they are doing their good work, let's hope that they can do it with an equal chance of funding and an equal chance to make their change in the world. Thank you.